When you want to find a definition in a dictionary, you don't look for a page number, you look for a word. And you can do the same sort of thing in computer programming, using structures called dictionaries or hashes or associative arrays. Now, one of the simplest ways to create lists of items in a program is to put all the items into an array. That's a list of items that are indexed by their position 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Here, for example, I have an array of four items, that's the strings here, indexed from 0 to 3. And I can use the index, here that's 1, to get the item at a specific position. Let me run the program, and there you see that's the string that's stored at index 1. Now, I've already explained arrays in another video. But the index numbers here don't really tell you anything about the value that's stored at a given position. Now, to go back to my dictionary, using an array would be a bit like looking up a definition by page number, by saying, well, go to page 186, line 25, and what do I find here? This is the definition. Small, domesticated, carnivorous, quadruped, any member of the genus Felis. But instead of indexing that information, that value, by a number, it'd make a lot more sense to index it by its name, which is exactly what the dictionary does, of course. It's got the name cat. So when I want to find the definition of cat, I look up the name cat. Uh, I don't look up the page number. And that's the way that computer dictionaries or hashes work too. Let's look at how to do this in a program. Here I'm using the Ruby language, but many other languages provide similar features. First, here's a Ruby array indexed by number. And I can get at a definition, for example, this one at index number 1. But as I've mentioned before, that index number doesn't really tell me much about the value, the definition, that's stored at that index. It doesn't tell me what this definition actually refers to. Now let's look at a hash. In Ruby, a hash is delimited by curly brackets. The syntax would be different, of course, in other languages. With a hash, I can associate a name, such as cat or dog, with its definition. The name on the left of this special operator acts as the key, and I can use that key to index into a hash, just as I use a number to index into an array. And I can use that key to retrieve an associated value. Let me see an example running this program. So I've attempted to get the value associated with the key cut. And there it is. So you can see that hashes or dictionaries can be more informative and descriptive than simple arrays. The keys actually tell me something about the values associated with them. Here, my keys happen to be strings, but in many languages you can use other types of data or objects too. But that is a subject that's a bit beyond the scope of this tutorial. There are lots more free programming tutorials on the Bitwise YouTube channel. Don't ever miss one. And to do that, be sure to subscribe. <laughs>